I think we're live. Oh, we're live, baby. We're live. We're live. Tears Yet the Movies presents The Revolution Week 11 review. The entire week review. The entire week we're reviewing today since it is Tuesday. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Ooh. That's right. All right. First off, R.I.P. Hoyt. She booms. Heart goes out. Anyway, on to the scores. Week 11. First week, the San Diego Alfredo Poyos somehow squeaked by against the San Jose Party Fowlers. 76-27. Riding on the uh, the coattails, if you will, of Marlon Mack, who isn't there anymore, and the tried and true of the 2019 season, the San Francisco defense. For 76 points. Cardi Fowlers, they got points here and there. Let's not worry about how they got there. Poyos win. Number one. Right here. You're right here. On the come up. <clears throat> you have the uh, Cucamonga Cracker Killers taking on the Zeke and Reek show. With the Cucamonga Cracker Killers just... Dominating with Lamar Jackson and Christian Caffrey. I mean, could be the season, man. It could be his year. It's a, quite a team. Be a shame if something were to happen. It would be a shame, wouldn't it? Be a real tearjerker. Anyways, 119, 109, 10 points being the difference. Drew Brees. Actually, no. Chark. Who the hell is Chark Jr.? Who? DJ Chark Jr. DJ Chark Jr. Out of nowhere. Yeah, this guy had a day. Eight receptions, 104. Two TDs, 24 points, or 23 points, sorry. Behind uh, Drew Brees, uh, day. 228, three TDs, 22 points. As for uh, the Cucamonga Crack Killers, Lamar Jackson, you know, being a top scorer, being a workhorse, as always, that's a good pick. 222 yards and four touchdowns, 33 points. And, you know, Kisher McCaffrey's there, too, you know, doing his thing. 20 points. So, you know, it was just a regular Sunday. Real Sunday. He was just at home. He was like, oh, okay. Oh, you want the ball over there? Oh, let me go there. What does it have like a really cool nickname? It's like Run MC. Oh, it's like. like it's like really, really clever. It has run to do with CMC. You. Run CMC? There you go. Because it's Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. It's a Christian MC. Yeah, see? See, it is clever. Come on, CMC, though. All right. Here we go. You know, there was a point in time where the Oakland Manifesto, they were on a, I got a three-game losing streak, was it? And it looked, it looked pretty grim. It looked pretty grim until they didn't lose sense. The Oakland Manifesto... I just they just dominated the week. Out here with 119 points against the uh, Hayward Huffman Puffs, who I'm only going to bring it up right now because uh, we decided to give him a break from the from the future segment because Trent Burton did nothing. God, always did nothing. Week in, week in, week, week out. out. We're going to mention him again. You, 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 Terrible. Yeah. He's, he's not going to be in the segment, but I'm just going to mention it again. You, you tried it, Trey Burton, out there. Once again, put out there, zero receptions. And zero, does he block? What, what's going on? Anyway, zero points. Added to your 71. Makes you still 71. Even though Mark Ingram the second got 20 points with his 48 yards and two reception TDs. But it didn't matter because the manifesto has Dak Prescott, 31 points. 
John Brown, 27. What was that? Mark and Mark Andrews even came through with 14 <coughs> with 14 points. The Oakland defense came through for the Oakland Manifesto. I mean, points everywhere. Points. You, you, you got you gotta love points. The Manifesto loves points. It's on and popping. 119, 71. It's gonna be interesting. Man, <clears throat> this week, this week was a was just a murder fest. It was just bloodbath. It was. Have you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? That infamous scene of Mister Blonde just torturing the cop. Classic, classic. To the song "Stuck in the Middle with You." To that of a, a single. Razor blade just went over to the cop and <laughs> cut off the ears of that cop. And that's exactly what the reservoir dogs did to the stacking trolls. It took a tip off of each ear. 77 66 by 11 points. Yeah. Debo Samuels just being a beast. Eight receptions, 134 yards, 15 points. I mean, and that's coming back from like a short injury and ended up kind of bad, but you know. Yeah, and I gotta be honest with you, the Reservoir Dogs have stayed true to Debo Samuel just like the actual team, and it's starting to pay dividends. Yes. The winds, the winds are coming. Will it be enough? We'll, we'll see. see. We'll but see. the winds, the winds are coming. We're only three games out, people. Is anyone ball game out there? Can, can we just mention Larry Fitzgerald also? Oh, geez. I mean, come on. The guy, the guy just he, he produces as as in his age. The guy's what is he? What is he a thousand now? <laughs> He's ageless. That's what he is. <clears throat> he is ageless. I think him and the, the great Deku tree, they went to like grammar school together. Yes. So old. Yes. So old. And and he is he's so cool because he fulfilled a promise to his mother on getting a degree. Turn right. And he fulfilled a lifelong <clears throat> promise. Sons out there, get degrees for your mom. Well, you know, she'll be happy. Make sure you get two copies. That way you can put up you can put it up at her house and then one in your office. Right. Well, or which, whatever you got going. But well, which one gets the official? All right. In the battle of no one's trying. <laughs> we no one's in the uh the shit. in the <laughs> in the I don't give a shit bowl. Oh, go fuck. The no sweat off my sack. The uh, the world dog have a box series. Someone's gotta win. Someone. Someone has to win. And this week, the Flying Graysons decided that uh, that they were gonna be the ones to score just a few more points. Why? <laughs> because Matt Ryan decided to. Be a quarterback this week, and he threw for 300 yards and a touchdown, which is kind of what you'd expect from an average quarterback, and that's exactly what he did, 18 points, right. which was enough. 18 points. Because 46 is more than 42. Yay, Matt. Kirk Cousins, 24. Everyone else, trash. I think he's paying attention. No one is. None of them. Like, oh, what we're playing? Oh, okay. They're playing. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I think I got. I think I got a flight. Aren't yeah. I gonna travel? Yeah. Let's travel, baby. Yeah. 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 When you got it, you got it. When you got it, you got it. When you got it, it's hot. Mm. And I'm starting to heat up. Oh, Dan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
but I had to do it to you. There's nothing you could have done. Literally. L literally. Look it, was, at, it was just one of those weeks. Look at the numbers right here. And, and I got to say, it took it like a champ. I don't expect that. 130. Ooh, 73. <clears throat> you were done by 10 a.m., buddy. No. You were done at kickoff. Oh. oh, man, that's terrible. I mean, Stephon Diggs came out top, you know, five reception, 121 yards, touchdown. Car points. Respectable. But Josh Allen, man, he had a career day. 34 points. So, two of two Allens. For real. Two of two Allens. J and K Allen. 256 wow. yards, four total touchdowns, 34 points. Yeah. And then, you know, I, the reason why I picked Michael Thomas, number one, just because I can't. Mm -hmm. and, and, and why I picked. It's like, it's like an automatic 19 to 20 points every every week. Almost. Almost. It's not like the one, but... You got to take the one when you get 13 others. That's right. Well, playoffs, baby. Playoffs are around the corner. Do or die. This is when wins and losses become important in placing. See you in the playoffs. Some of you. Some of you, I will not. Hmm. By the way, four teams make it. One seed, two seed, three seed, wild card. It's going to be real interesting. We'll start going over the bracket next week. Oh, yeah. But for now, crumb bombs and honey bombs, baby. And like always, we must start negative. Negative, negative. Crumb bomb. My choice this week. Mohamed Sanu, two receptions, four yards, one point, and he's not even a part of that. Team win, got him to one point. Mohamed Sanu, you crumb bum. Who's your choice this week? Stick with the wide receiver, Kenny Galladay, wide receiver from Detroit. One reception, 34 yards. Three points. No good. 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 Unfortunately, every spectrum does have an opposite side, but we can't stand with the wide receiver. John Brown, Buffalo, nine receptions, 137 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty sweet. Bunch of points. It was like 20 something. I don't know. I didn't write it down. It was a lot. It was a lot, though. It was a lot. 27, I believe. So, yeah. Let's go with 27. There will be no lower third to edit that. Maybe you'll go in the comments. Anyway, we'll go with 27. Who cares? 137, two touchdowns, nine receptions. He, he went it for his team. Oh, yeah, he did. Honey Bun. Ooh, quarterback. Dak Prescott. 444 yards. Three touchdowns, 31 points. With the uh, Oakland mini faces. Look out. Oakland's on the come up. Oakland is on the come up. We'll see because it's going to get real, real, real interesting. I'll see you week. Was it week, uh, week 12? <clears throat> what the big All right. Now it's the same about choices. Choices, choices, choices. Some of those, some of us make the wrong choice. For example, the Kakamaka Cook, the Roger Kakamaka Kakakillas <clears throat> decided to bench Calvin Ridley, Atlanta. Interceptions, 143 yards, touchdown, 22 points. Not that you necessarily needed it, but 
Don't you think it would look nice on the box score? Don't you think it would look nice? But no. Instead, it's in gray at the bottom. Who did you catch making the wrong choice? Ooh, that would be you, buddy. Oh, no. The commish. Caught sleeping. But, I mean... <clears throat> You can blame you. You went. I still kind of the right. The right choice was made. Yes. It just. It was not the right time. It was not the right time. So, being that said, being said, that's it. You see, that being that being said, I'm dyslexic. That being said, Jimmy Garoppolo, dude, come on. Fell asleep on the guy. 424 points. I told you. <laughs> 424 yards. Yes. 424 yards, four touchdowns, for 31 points. Two interceptions? Nice. Two INTs. I mean, still got him 31 points, though. All hey. over that bench. All over the bench. It could have helped. It would, it, would it would just, have, again, the box score would have looked real, real nice. It would have padded the box score, for real. It would have, you would have had, you know, more points added on. But no, so by the way, points four is a tiebreaker. Always try to get as many as you can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, there's always that week where there's always a player that Absolutely helps nobody. And then we call that person a motherfucker. Motherfucker. Because he absolutely helped nobody, and that motherfucker helped nobody. He did nothing the entire season. All of a sudden, all of a sudden one week, he's, like, blowing up. Pick him up. What does he do? Shit. Nothing. My pick for that motherfucker to help nobody is a tight end, Steve Carlson, from the Cleveland Browns, who had his first touchdown that game for eight yards, seven points. Help nobody. Nobody. That motherfucker. Yeah. You know what? I guess it helped Mrs. Carlson, his mother, made her proud. Well, kid hasn't had a single catch all year. Get one. It's a touchdown. All victory, I guess. And we get to see, you know, one of those vicious broads ever in NFL history. Ah. Why? So that's for another time. That's, that is maybe a little bit later. That's for another time. Marcus Pouncey. <sighs> anyway, who's your choice, buddy? The ultimate touchdown vulture actually plays for San Francisco. Yeah. Running back, Jeff Wilson Jr., who had not just one catch, not just he – had, he had one play the entire game. One offensive snap the entire game, and it was a 25-yard catch for a touchdown for nine points. After that, Tevin Coleman was there. I mean, yeah, Tevin Coleman was there. They had a, it doesn't help anybody, is, is what I'm saying here. So I will say, I, Jeff Wilson Jr., that guy literally, literally, I promise you, has less than like 50 total all purpose yards, and the man has like 10 touchdowns. Now, granted, don't get it twisted. I mean, like, half of them were, like, in two games. Yeah, like, three and one and two and another. It was crazy. It was crazy. Nuts. Do what you want. But Jefferson Jr., he keeps getting touchdowns, and he keeps not playing. I don't know how that works. He doesn't play, but he gets touchdowns. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Don't know. 
Anyway, Niners keep on winning. That's pretty dope. Raiders keep on winning. You guys really don't want me to go again for $20. $20 hairs. Yeah, man. Some of us got to buy four tickets. And I can't. I just can't do it. And all I can say is, it's John Gruden, you're, you're killing me. You're killing me financially. You're killing me, Smalls. Because I am not going to Vegas. You are tripping if you think I'm going to pay some Vegas prices to go see the Raiders play. You are tripping hard. I was trying to pay $20. But obviously, you want to charge me $60. i am not doing it. I'm not doing it. He absolutely refuses. I mean, go Raiders, but bring on a five-game losing streak. How many games are left? Five? Six. Six. Well, I mean, it's week 12. So. It's week 12. Six. Six. 12, six, including this one. That's coming up. Six. Five-game losing streak. $20. Last game in the uh, at the uh, Coliseum. It's on Christmas Let's Eve. do it. I think so. It's on Christmas Eve? I think so. Everyone should want to be with their family. Yeah, who wants to be at the sh? But well, we should get tickets, baby. We should get tickets. Let's read that shit again. But before that, moving on, Thursday night, it's going to be a very interesting, interesting game. We have the Indianapolis Colts visiting the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans are favored five and a half. The over under on this game is 46 and a half. The Colts have nobody. nobody. They're uh, I'll just they have a quarterback, but I'll remind you the quarterback retired. They have Jacoby Brissett, who's God. I thought he hurt his. He you, he hurt his ankle. He hurt his ankle. Who knows? Who knows about that guy? They don't have a running back. He they don't have nothing. Broke his hand. The I, receiver is hurt. And the Texans, they have Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. I don't understand what else you need to know. The this five and a half point is a joke. Yeah. That is a that is a joke. I don't think it's gonna be that close. 46 and a half points. I think if it's 46 and a half points, it's gonna be one-sided. And that's exactly what I think it is, because again, there's just way too much talent uh in the air in uh in Houston. I mean, they got Kenny Steels. Yeah, <laughs> Kenny Steels. And they got, like I said, DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins. And those are the receiving crewers. They're, you know, no Carl, slouch. Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde is there. The forgotten one. The forgotten one. So, do I um, think it's going to be close to 46 points? I think it's going to be close to 46, but I think it's going to be just under 46 and a half. I think the Colts are going to score, but I don't think they're going to bring much to this game, especially on Thursday night. And the Texans, I mean, how many times do you have to mention it? Watson, Hopkins, Stills, and Carlos, you know. And, and their defense is good enough that they can play. A heavily depleted offense. Yeah, especially without fucking JJ Watt again. So, so again, that guy again. has again. that guy ever played a full season? Like maybe yeah. once. Who knows? It'll be close to 46, but I think it's gonna be just under. I think there's gonna be 45 points scored in this game. However, it's gonna be heavily one-sided. Texas 35, Colts 10, because I don't know who you're supposed to respect in the Colts at this point, but I guess they're, they're still professionals. I think I think they'll uh, I think they'll uh, luck themselves. Ha ha! It's a ten points. However, the Texans are just going to be overwhelming. Thirty-five points. What do you see happening in this game? No man, I, I see it, dude. I was just thinking that ten points from the Colts at least. But uh, as for the Texans, I don't know, man. Yeah, about 30, 30 points. You know, be under, what is it, 45? Yeah. Uh, over under is 46 and a half. 46 and a half, so yeah. I think it's under. 
Not to mention the Texans were held to like what one touchdown last week against the Ravens. They're they're gonna they're gonna want to put up some points. They're, they're gonna be like, no, remember we can throw, and they're gonna throw. Well, the Texans will cover too. Yeah, they'll cover. They'll, sure, they'll definitely cover. All right, so don't listen to me, but but on the Texans. Well, I mean, you know what? I don't know anything about I don't know anything about betting, so whatever. But on the Colts, anyway, that was week eleven.